Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, and it reads, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. I mean, all this judgment going on, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is burning down fucking project buildings. Burning people to a crisp, man. All right, all these planes. We 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 gotta we gotta keep bringing these things out because judgment is going forth, man. But the unjust, no no shame. You got these wicked ninja lights. That, that's all they are. A wicked ninja lights. That, that, their mouth calls for strokes, man. All this judgment. Women been getting their head blown off their damn shoulders, but fucking brain matter everywhere. You see. People dying at an alarming rate, but 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 what the guys do? They they, they it's it's like mind boggling. But we know it's hey, look, man. It's all part of the movie. Only thing guys can think about is scoffing, breaking our scriptures the wrong way. All this judgment going on. The Lord is burning people to a crisp, man. Make, making it to where they can't get out of the apartment buildings, man. You see, get stabbed up, car accidents, you name it, man. Um, uh, Maxine Waters taking people out of out of here, sending them back to the spiritual realm. But what did, what did the scripture say again? Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse twelve. You see, um, oh yeah, um, talking nonsense, talking crap to men who taught them the truth. A bunch of novices, a bunch of Johnny Come lately, still got shit stains in their drawers. You see. Walking around talking about they're perfect, man. Look, Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Guys don't even know what I'm saying. Look, look, women included. Because these false Israelite groups, they got a large following, and the, the, the main people that's following them are women that's running their damn up. Women getting their fucking heads blown off too, man. Straight to the white me, man. Judgment going forward. Let's get that too, man. Let's just get that. There is a way that seems right into a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You, you can't these ninja lights. You can't correct them, man. They would not. They would not take correction. So, so judgment is going to correct them. When words can't teach adversity, will just remember that when the Lord start put some hell on you. Then you're going to try to repent, you know what I'm saying, and turn back from your nonsense. But then the Lord like, man, I ain't trying to hear you, man. All right? When I call, you did not answer. So now it's time to mock. When your fear comes, the Lord will put fear in you ninja lights, man. This is Zephaniah chapter 3. Verse 5. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. Look, he will not do iniquity. Every morning. Are you not hearing? Are you ninja lights not hearing this? Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Judgment going forth. These, these prophecies are popping off the pages, man. You got guys hanging with pimps and whoremongers, and it's, it's, it's all a game. Until, until judgment come. What do you say? Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he fell if not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. But the scriptures tell us, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So everybody's falling in their lot. That's the thing about it. We don't control nothing. The Lord has everybody falling into their lot, man. You see? The, and look, man, the, the ground, the ground going to start opening up, swallowing you ninja lights. You see? Buildings going to fall. You're going to get caught up in an earthquake. You're going to get caught up in a storm. You're going to get caught up in the wrath of your howl by Shem Shai, man. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. But the unjust know of no shame. Going to keep mocking and scoffing until that judgment come. You see, with the scripture say, a, a, a fool's mouth um, is his destruction. A fool's mouth is his destruction, man. Malachi 4.1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, 
and all the proud, yea, and all they do wickedly. Are, are Israel, you ninja lights, are you not hearing this? All the proud, yea, and all they do wickedly shall be stubble. The end results of a fire, crispy, straight crispy, man, all right? Burnt to a crisp, man, all right? Nothing left. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Yeah, how about Shemia was shot? See, you're playing around with the king of terrors, man. All right? The Lord has sent a spirit up in your house, man, and terrorize you, man. Have it to where you won't get no sleep, but everything's a game, right? You see? Have a spirit just come up in your house, just knock every damn thing off the wall. Just th throw the damn dishes on the floor and everything, man. Some old poltergeist, you know what I'm saying? Ish. You see? Don't, they don't even realize what they messing with, man. But that's their lot. That's their lot. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So no matter how many videos the apostles bring out on um, rebuke and turning back and things of that nature on down to younger brothers like us, these guys ain't going to listen, man. Is, is that Jeremiah 6? Let's see. It might be Jeremiah 16. Let's just see, though. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, thus saith the Lord. Every time we say so, we back it up with a scripture, man. Look, you got, you got food shortages. You see? You got, you, we're on the brink of war. War 3. You see? Maxine Waters. You know what I'm saying? The, the M-O to the, to the T-D-B-B-B-B-B. The M-A-R-K. It's about to be made mandatory. Look, tribulation at an all-time high. Tribulation like never, ever seen on the face of the earth is... It, 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 Fastly approaching. You can have missiles hit this place and you can have the chariots shooting laser beam in this place. Lawyer Howard Shy, it's on his way, man. Guys, when we, guys don't realize what they don't realize what the hell is really going on and what's coming out of the pipeline. Sleazy E gonna come in with great wrath, sparing none. Knowing the, I'm gonna see if I can get that next, Lord willing. That Revelation 12 and 12. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit, man. A, a fool's mouth is his destruction. Thus saith the Lord, verse 16, Proverbs 6, no, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Because pursuant to Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest, it's polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction, right? It says, it says and ye shall find rest for your souls, but they said these ninja lights, we will not walk therein. They said that thousand years ago, and those same spirits are back saying it right now. Saying we ain't, we ain't walking after the manners of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're going to do our own thing. You see? You see? We, we look, we're going to pervert the gospel. And that's exactly what these ninja lights are doing, perverting the gospel. And, and they're following, you know what I'm saying, going to be destroyed if they don't repent, man. It tells you that in, um, in um, Ezekiel, the 14th chapter, starting at verse 9. Alas, I said, watchmen over you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set forth watchmen. You see? Saying, hawking, meaning listen to the sound of the trumpet. What's the trumpet? This word. But they said, we will now hawk it. So you already know what the end result is. Remember, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Look, they said they ain't going to hawk it. They said they ain't going to repent. They said they ain't going to turn back. They said they're going to do their own thing. You see? These, look, 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 these, these ninjas said they're perfect. You see? A bunch of Mr. Perfects walking around, right? Come on, man. So this, so actually, so basically what these guys are saying, these guys and these gals are saying that they don't need Lord Yahweh Shai because they're perfect already, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't need a savior, right? This is Proverbs 15. Proverbs 15 and 10. Let's get this. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaken the way. Now, what we just read in Jeremiah, the sixth chapter. They say they ain't going to walk there in. They're not going to walk after the ways of Yahweh by Shem Shai. These ninja lights said they're not going to follow after the ways of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Why? Because the Bible is not the word of the Lord, but the word of the Lord is contained in the Bible. A bunch of fools, man. 
Preaching with their with hats on, with baseball caps on, looking real through. T H R U U U U U. And anybody that's following them, you looking through too. Long as ponytails, big big egg, um, <laughs> fucking head about the size of a car. Come on, man. High priest this, high priest that. Nobody don't care about no flashy titles, man. See the wicked side of the and um Pharisees, they they wanted them them um, chief seats. You know what I'm saying? And um, the um, choice names and all that other nonsense. When the true men of the Lord, they, they were just humble. They were just, they were just thankful that the Lord had them around, man. All right? Absorbing all this truth, man. You see? Standing in the spirit, right? Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hated for reproof. Remember, they said they ain't going to walk there and they're going to do their own thing. And he that hated for reproof, he or she. They hated for proof shall die. All right? Shall die, man. All right? And you ain't going to be able to pay the Lord off either. What is that scripture? Um, damn. Let's see if I can get it. No respect. E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect. Oh, person. Bear with me. I'm on that phone. I want to get something right quick. Let's get this. It's in, um, uh, what is it at? Um, Corinth, um, Corinth, no, um, let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. No, um, bear with me. Let's see. Bear with me, Israel. I know it's in Chronicles. I think it's First Chronicles, Second Chronicles. Let's see. Bear with me. Nothing's rehearsed. Let's see. Yeah, this is it right here. Second Chronicles, chapter nineteen, verse seven. Wherefore, now, wherefore now let the fear. Matter of fact, let's click on it. It's going to click on it. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you with all this judgment going forth. What you guys aren't watching the news or nothing and keeping up with current events, they don't know what the hell is going on. Death is in the air, man. De judgment, aka death, is in the air. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, nor respects, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. You're not gonna when judgment come, when judgment call your name, you're not gonna be able to, to say, oh yeah, oh yeah, here's my black card. You know, here's my here's my black card, you know what I'm saying? Look, like I got a couple of armed virgins over here. You can take them. Look, when judgment come, the angels ain't trying to hear nothing, man. The angels of oh, Yahweh yeah, Bashim Yahweh I ain't trying to hear nothing, man. All right? I, I, I want to I get this, though. About a, about a fool's mouth. This is uh, Proverbs 18. So it's a load up. Proverbs chapter 18. I read 6 and 7. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter um, 18, verse 6, and it reads, A fool's lip, a blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, a fool's lips into, into contention. And look, 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 look. And his mouth calleth for strokes, man. So running that mouth, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make your how about Shai do something to you, man? The only thing we need to do is just teach the truth, the 100% truth, according to the Bible, edify the elect of the nation of Israel, and keep it moving, man, and fear your hour by Shem but that ain't, that ain't good enough for Jake. Jake got to be the center of attention. Everybody has to know their name. You see, they got to be the life of the party. They got to be the center of attention. You see, they got to draw as much, as much, they got to draw as much attention as possible. And, and then it's all good, but you're going to draw the wrong attention, man. It says the fool's mouth is his destruction. So in, so in discord among brothers. Look, look, this is all part of the movie, though. There ain't nothing new up under the sun. 
The scriptures say these, these spirits come back doing the same thing, man. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. The Lord just um putting a radar on them, man. You know what I'm saying? Putting the spotlight on them. So, so everybody know who's who. That's all that's happening, man. The Lord is showing you who's who. A spiritual man judge of all things, right? A fool's mouth is his destruction. And his lips are the snare. And the snare is a trap. And his lips are the snare of his soul. So his lips, you know what I'm saying? These fools, these blockheads. These Johnny come late, these, these um novices with shit stains in their drawers. And I ain't really, I ain't really been around too long, you know what I'm saying? But I, I constantly pray to you. How about Shimmy Shai that I'm of that number? I constantly pray to you. How about Shimmy Shai that he keeps me humble, you know? Keeps me in line, keeps me in order. These guys, I don't think these guys pray though. These Johnny come late, at least these um ninja lights, they I don't, I don't think they pray, man. The scriptures say, um, follow not a multitude to do evil, right? You see guys going off, you get the hell away from them, huh? You, you don't just follow them, man. Let's see. I'm going to get Sirach. Sirach, um, let's get Sirach 40. And I'm about to wrap it up. I just want to do something, just throw something out there quick, man. We, we're living in the time of prophecy, man. Sirach chapter 40. Sirach chapter 40, verse 9, death. Remember, um, he that hated reproof, a.k.a. correction, shall die. Remember, I read that earlier in Proverbs. This is um, Sirach chapter um, 40, verse 9, death and bloodshed. Then, then, then look, check out these key words, death and bloodshed. Everything's a game, right? Everything's funny, right? Everything's laughable and all this, right? Okay, death and bloodshed. Ask those people that just got burnt up in that um, that project building in New Jersey. Ask them is, is getting burnt to a crisp. Ask them is that a, is that a funny? You know what I'm saying um, a, a funny situation. You know what I'm saying? Since everything's funny, ask the people that just got burnt to a damn crisp in New Jersey in that apartment building. Ask them is is getting caught on fire. Is that is that a funny situation to get caught up in? Ask them that since everything's so funny. Since we're living in the, in the time of everything being a joke, right? Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine. When that stomach touching that back, look, 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 laugh about that, man. When that stomach is touching that back, laugh about that, right? When you're sitting outside and all your shit sitting outside, look, look, laugh at that, man, all right? Laugh at it, man. When judgment come upon you, man. Famine, tribulation. When you start catching a pure hell. When this devil come in like a madman. Gurgle juice troops kicking down your front door. Make, see if that's a funny situation to get caught up in. When you get burnt to a crisp by those icy beam, beam missiles. When you see Lord Yahweh Shai come through the clouds in that humongous cherry the size of a mountain. You start shitting on yourself. Start, start laughing there. See if that's a funny situation, right? Tribulation and a scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood, man. This ain't no joke, man. This word is deadly serious, man. That's why we cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like trumpets and show our people where they go off at, man. And we constantly repent for the things that we go off on because we ain't perfect. Guys walk around like they don't make no mistakes, man. Like they perfect. You got people actually following them. A, a bunch of Mr. Perfects walk around, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. Just, just stop it. But they're not, they're not gonna stop it. You see, they're not gonna stop it because judgment against uh sentence against an evil work isn't being executed speedily. They're gonna keep they're gonna keep talking that nonsense, but it, it, eventually, it's eventually judgment is gonna come. Eventually, judgment is going to come. Let's get this right quick. I got two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. You, you Israelites better repent. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. And it reads, it, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A fearful thing, man. All right? And the majority of you ninja lights are going to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemini. I wish I remember. The Lord, the Lord said, um, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, with storm, um, tempest, and the flame of devouring fire, man. So the Lord's going to judge you ninja lights, man. Straight up, man. 
you you ninja lights have to be judged. Let's get this. And and and, and the computer chimed in. The computer chimed in, man. I, I want to get three more scriptures, and I'm gonna wrap it up. This is Revelation. So on the phone, Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. And it reads, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants, woe destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil slays the eat, the deceiver, the slanderer, has come down unto you having great wrath. You see, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So all that mocking, that scoffing, it's not, it's not going to get you delivered from this day right here. When this devil come in with great wrath, you see. Knowing that he, look, great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. Huh? Mark is scoffing, I'm saying, because the Lord got you up under strong delusions anyway. The majority of you ninja lights, the Lord got you under strong delusions, man, that you believe in a lie, man. You see? And you're, and you're taking pleasure in, 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 in unrighteousness, man. Do you think it's going to go well with you? Jay, wicked as hell. <laughs> Come in, all these abominable acts, but then when the Lord come, when the Lord bring judgment, it's going to be well with them. Are you serious? St. Matthew 24. Go straight to the point. Verse 21. For this shall be great tribulation. Uh, do you not see these prophecies jumping off the pages? Gr great tribulation. The economy is about to crash and your ass about to be famine, uh, dying of uh, food, starvation out here, man. Do you, cannibalism is going to pop off at an all-time high ne never seen before. Oh, yeah, but it's time to play, though, right? <clears throat> okay. For then shall be great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. And it's, and it's like, um, it's mind boggling, but we already know it's according to the scriptures. The Lord taking out these false prophets, putting them to death. You know what I'm saying? It seems like the more false prophets the Lord judge and put their death, you know what I'm saying, the more scoffers come out to cut. You see? The Lord, the Lord told us, though, in the last days there should be scoffers walking after their own lusts. You see, traitors, heady, high-minded, unthankful, unholy, haters of those that are good. You see? All, all these things are taking place now. But look, though, that judgment going to come. That judgment going to come, man. That's one thing that can correct a ninja light. Is what is it called? Judgment, man. You see, the Lord got something that'll correct a ninja light, and it's called judgment, man. All right. What else did I want to get before I closed out? Oh yeah, I want to get that Ezekiel. I want to close out on Ezekiel. Another warning through the spirit of your how about Shemia Shai. It's going down. Should there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Come on, man. Ninja lights have no clue, man. Shit stains in your drawers. Johnny come lately. You know what I'm saying? I stole that from my apostle. Um, Rakar. Johnny come lately. Shit stains in your drawers. Talking crap. Ezekiel 14. We're just going to keep teaching the word. Um, Ezekiel chapter 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived, when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh have deceived that prophet. You got a whole lot of slanderers out here. Uh, of Israel, a whole lot of deceivers out here, a whole, a whole lot of devils. You know what I'm saying? Because the word devil means deceiver, right? I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. So, so um, you, you false Israelite prophets, the Lord's going to eventually make a move on you, man. Shit, the Lord might have you somewhere to where it's cold as hell, you end up freezing to death, man. I, icicles on your face and everything, on your beard. On your eyebrows and everything, man. Come on, the Lord gonna bring judgment upon you, man. You see, walking around with your fringes everywhere, looking all stupid, all in the grocery store, all in the barber shop, looking real stupid, man. You see, all at the cookout. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man, it's through, man. The Lord say he gonna destroy that false prophet from the midst of his people, Israel, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity, cause they feed not people with lies. Wickedness, right? Sin upon sin. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. You see, your your whole congregation, the people that's following, you, you ninja lights that's out there following these false prophets. And you're clapping your hands like seals. And all this other nonsense. 
The Lord said, if you don't repent, you're going to receive the same judgment as that false prophet. Are you not, are you not seeing what the scriptures are saying on the screen? And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. His whole congregation, man. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me. Neither be polluted any more with their transgressions. But that, but that they may be my people. And I may be their power, saith the Lord. Yahweh by Shem So judgment is going forth, man. The Lord said, a fool's mouth calleth for strokes, man. And he that hateth reproof, a.k.a. correction, shall die, man. And this word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel anyway, man. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh. By Shemir, Shalom, Lord willing, the elect is edified. Shalom.